If you roll in similar circles as me, you're probably hearing a lot about MLOps. In this video, I demystify this concept and I talk about how familiarizing yourself with it can help your business or your career. The concept behind ML operations, or ML ops for short, is nothing new. We're simply adapting an existing framework used for software development to the newer machine learning methods that are out there. The framework that ML ops is built off of is called DevOps. DevOps facilitates the collaboration between software teams and its operation teams. I remember when I first heard about this concept and it was really confusing to me at the time. I kept hearing that DevOps was useful without anyone explaining to me what it was. After working in industry, I think the easiest way to explain DevOps is in two parts. First, it's the things that a company does to facilitate the handoffs between the different members of development, operations, and business teams. Second, it's the systems that the company puts into place so that software is repeatable, testable, and scalable. DevOps can leverage technologies, various different project management frameworks, or unique positions to make these interactions between teams as seamless as possible. I really like a sports metaphor to describe the DevOps concept. As you know, I love sports or papaya metaphors. The goal of most team sports is to score points. And in order to score points, most teams have set plays that they run. They have coaches, they have training staff, and other support staff to help the players improve their performance and stay healthy. They have systems in place so that the players can get to the games on time and they know what to do when they're on the field. Finally, all these teams have various technologies to track improvement and measure success. All of these things support the end goal of winning, but are somewhat unrelated to the actual game itself. These different things that I mentioned are how DevOps relate to the technology department at a company. Instead of winning a game, our job is to complete a project. Instead of coaches, we have project managers. And instead of sports specific technologies, we use Slack and GitHub. Okay, enough about DevOps. What is MLOps and how's it different? MLOps expands the scope of DevOps to include machine learning projects. Machine learning projects can come with their own baggage and can be a bit messier than traditional software projects. The tools that we use to facilitate ML projects can also be a bit different. There's a big boom in ML ops tools right now, and it's really exciting to see many people seeing the importance of machine learning at scale. There are a few challenges that ML projects face that normal software projects don't always include. First, we're often dealing with large data pipelines. When building an ML model, we need to be able to manipulate data and perform feature engineering at multiple stages of the project. Compared to traditional software projects, ML projects need to have more data flexibility over their life cycle and beyond. Next, machine learning projects have huge amounts of testing and experimentation. Most data scientists or machine learning engineers want to keep track of the different iterations of the models that they use. They also need to create a system that allows for future retraining of these models that they use with new data. Documentation doesn't just have to be your code base on GitHub. You can also document the past model runs and the processes you used to get the model that you put into production. To that point, using tools or systems that allow for easy scaling or updating of models that are already in production is a huge premium. The last part of MLOps that varies slightly from DevOps is the project management side of the equation. ML projects often have less clear timelines than traditional software projects, especially if these projects have more of a data exploration spin to them. This is an area that's currently evolving, and I'm excited to see the new methodologies that rise to the top in the next few years. This video is brought to you by the Ken's Nearest Neighbors podcast and the Ken's Nearest Neighbors podcast clips YouTube channels. If you're interested in hearing some interviews, with a few of the most interesting people in the data science, machine learning, and AI fields, definitely tune into that. I'll have it linked in the top right corner, the description, and in the pinned comment. So since I am no expert in ML ops, I asked for feedback on this topic from my friend, Joe Reese. He's the founder of Ternary Data, which is a data engineering consulting firm. He really highlighted the importance of data pipeline and model observability. MLOps are tools and systems that help us to reduce errors and improve efficiencies. One of the most effective ways to do this is by constant monitoring of our technology. If we have live feedback on when our data looks wrong or our models are producing strange results, we can act quickly to resolve these problems. He also mentioned the importance of other MLOps paradigms like feature stores. As I previously mentioned, one of the goals of MLOps is to make our work scalable. This doesn't just mean our end product. We want to make each step of our analysis scalable and usable to others. For example, sharing the features that we engineer with a team in a centralized location means that others don't have to do rework in the future. It also decreases the odds of error if someone was to recalculate the same metric that we just created 
using different constraints. So how is this useful to you? It can seem pretty difficult to learn about ML ops without having a job as a data scientist or a machine learning engineer, or even a data engineer. To be completely honest with you, the best place to pick this up is on the job. On the other hand, if that's not an option for you right now, personal projects that leverage tools like Docker, Comet ML, Weights and Biases, GitHub, etc., are a great place to start understanding this concept. In my mind, the, the ideas behind MLOps and DevOps are essentially the same. For MLOps, we use mostly a different set of tools that are relevant to the specific machine learning problems. Having a familiarity with tools and an idea about how to organize an ML project to scale can be a huge differentiator in employability. If you're a business owner or you manage a team of data scientists, learning some MLOps concepts or integrating some tools can help you to optimize the value that you drive to your organization. I hope this video helped you to better understand MLOps. Thank you so much for watching and good luck on your data science journey.